Hello friends, what I'm Thomas of the webcast and in today's video demonstration we are going to see how to enable NTFS this quota in Windows 10. Quota management is one of the most important tools used in Windows platform. NTFS quota enables you to set a storage limit for users of a particular volume. Depending on how you configure the quota, user exceeding the limit can be denied disk space or just receive a warning. The space consumed by individual users is measured by the size of the files they own or they create. So for the purpose of this video demonstration, I have a user named user1 and the user1 is a standard user account on this Windows 10 computer. And as we can see, our user, user1 is able to store data on our D drive name personal. So we want to set a quota for our user, user1 that user1 can only store 10 GB of data on this drive. But right now, as you can see, users can store data up to 169 GB. So let's set interface quota on this volume. So for that, we have to log in as our admin user and that is user Manher. So let's log in as a, our user with uh, administrative privilege on this Windows 10 computer. Okay, let's open Windows Explorer, click on this PC. And just right click on your volume that you want to enable the NTFS disk quota. Just right click on it and select properties. On properties click on quota tab and under quota click on show quota settings. And here as you can see the by the first status saying the disk quotas are currently disabled. Click on select enable quota management and we are also going to select deny disk space to users exceeding quota limit. So that means users who exceed the quota limit receive an insufficient disk space error message from Windows and cannot write additional data to the volume without first deleting or moving some accessing data from it. Okay. And uh, yes, we also want to enable this lock events when a user exceeds the quota limit or we also want lock for lock events when a user exceeds their warning levels. Now let's click on quota entries and as you can see our user administrator or system or our user Manhar or our another user user one has no quota limit and we want to set for our user name user one. Remember these are the existing users on this system. So let's double click on this uh, our user name user one and as you can see user one has no limit on this volume. So let's select limit disk space to we want to give 10 GB and let's select 10 GB limit disk space to 10 GB and we want to set a warning level at 9 GB. So let's select 9 GB. Click on apply and click on OK. Now as you can see we have a quota limit for our user named user 1 can store maximum 10 GB data on this volume name personal. Click on close, click on apply and when you click on apply, system will give you a warning. You should enable the quota system only if you intended to use quotas on this disk, disk volume. When you enable the quota system, the volume will be rescanned to update disk user statistics. This might take several minutes. Press OK to enable quota system now. Click on OK and click on OK and click on OK again. Okay. And as you can see, our user name and her can store data up to 169 GB on this D drive. Let's log in as our another user, user1. Let's log in as a user1. And once you log in as a user, user1, let's again open Windows Explorer, click on this PC and right now, as you can see on a D drive, user can only see 10 GB free space available on the D drive. As we know, actually there is a 169 GB free space available, but due to NTFS disk quota, user is able to store up to 10 GB data on this volume. And remember, the user can only store data up to 10 GB. And if user exceed the disk limit, then user won't be able to store more data on this partition. So this is the way how you can set up for NTFS disk quota on Windows 10 computer. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.